What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the top three mistakes I see people make when they target redfish in the fall. And in this video, I'm not only gonna tell you guys what those mistakes are, I'm gonna give you solutions. I'm gonna tell you what the best baits are, the best spots to go to. I'm gonna give you drone footage, on the water footage, everything you need to know to go out this fall and maximize your results with those redfish. So let's go ahead and dive in. Mistake number one, you're fishing cold zones. And this is a very important mistake to correct as we transition from the warm water that we had in the summer to the cold water that we start to experience in the fall. Now, the reason for this is, is redfish are cold blooded. So they rely on external factors to regulate their temperature. So when we start to experience the colder weather, they're gonna look for spots that have warmth. So they're gonna look for areas that have muddy bottoms that tends to hold a little bit more heat closer to the bottom. So they're gonna hold there, it's a little bit warmer. They're gonna look for wind protected shorelines. This is a really big big one. As that wind picks up across a open body of water, it's going to put a lot of chill near the surface. And if it's a shallow body of water, it's going to make the whole area cold. So they're going to look for muddy bottoms, wind protected shorelines. They're also going to be looking for areas that are out of the direct flow of current. Typically calmer waters are going to warm up faster than water that's constantly moving. So what they're going to be doing is looking for all these types of spots because they increase the warmth in the water. They're not going to be wanting to hold in cold spots because it doesn't allow them to regulate their internal temperature. And just to show you guys that concept real quick, let's take a quick look at this footage of me catching a redfish on this wind protected shoreline right here. There we go. It feels like a red. Nice little wind protected area here. That seems to be the trend as these uh, these temperatures take a dive. The wind protected spots are where the action's at. There we go. Pretty fish. Nice red on that five inch slam shady. Crushed it. So when you pick your spots to go target redfish this fall, make sure they are not cold spots. If possible, try to combine multiple factors of warmth, muddy bottoms, wind protected shorelines, preferably those that are out of the direct flow of current because that is gonna be the areas that redfish are going to want to be holding this fall. So let's go ahead and move on to the next mistake. Mistake number two, you're using too small of a lure. Now the reason you don't wanna use small lures this time of year is because baitfish are at their largest size in the fall. They showed up in the spring as little babies, they grew up through the summer, and now they are full size adults by the fall. And that's what those big predators are keyed in on, especially redfish. You'll notice that they're going to be going after those larger baitfish imitations because that is really what's available to them. So I'm not using small paddle tails. And in addition to that bait availability, they also have less hours to hunt during the day. In the fall, we do get less daylight hours. So those redfish really need to make the most of the energy they're going to expend when they go after their prey. They're not going to chase down shrimp and small minnows all day. They're going to go after what a high calorie meal is going to provide an energy to them. So I'm not throwing those small bait fish imitations. What I'm going to go ahead and use instead is a five to seven inch paddle tail. So what I've got here is two imitations of bait fish that have been working really well for me. This is the Slam Shady Paddler Z by Z-Man. And then this is the Slam Shady Bomber, which is a new lure we've created. I really love both of these. I, I've been using them, you know, together in unison. I can't say one's better than the other. And there are a ton of other paddle tails out there. I'm just comfortable with this color in both clear and dirty water. So this is what I've been throwing. And obviously you guys can mix and match to your liking, but just to show you guys that predators definitely will go after these really big bait fish imitations this time of year. Let's go ahead and take a look at some catch footage. There we go. Nice red. On the bomber. Ain't that bad boy. 
Mistake number three, you're fishing too fast. And this is a common mistake I see from folks in the fall. Again, they think that just because it's fall, those redfish are really fired up, the big ones are here. But fall brings in cold weather, which in turn is going to stunt a redfish's metabolism and give them less energy. So yes, those redfish are gonna be aggressive when the bait is in the strike zone, but they're not gonna be apt to chasing something down that's zipping by their face. If you can keep it in the strike zone a little bit longer, they're more apt to strike it. So maybe switching from a constant retrieve to a stop and go or a twitch twitch pause with your paddle tails could really be a great option if you're working top waters for redfish maybe slow down that walk the dog action if you've got a popping cork maybe don't pop it as fast pop pop and then just wait a couple seconds give those fish time to come and strike your bait you don't want to be moving things lightning fast away from those fish because that cold weather is going to you know decrease their energy levels they don't have as high of a metabolism so they're not going to chase things down as much so make sure you're slowing down those presentations in the fall for the redfish so there you guys have it, the top three mistakes that I see people making when they target redfish in the fall. Hopefully this video will help you guys recognize these mistakes so that you don't make them when you go out to catch redfish this fall. And if you guys have any other questions about targeting reds, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you would really like to step up your game as an inshore angler, I highly recommend you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club, where we guarantee that we will help you become a better inshore angler with courses, tip videos, and tons of other awesome information, as well as help you get discounts on top of the line industry tax with your Salt Strong Insider discount where you will receive 20% off of all the gear that you're seeing here and in the clips that I showed you earlier. So what are you guys waiting on? Hopefully I see you in the Insider community soon and thanks again for watching. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and wear the line today